Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Safety Gamer. Today we're going to continue this drama about Mr. Beast and his channel. It started off with Chris Tyson when he got exposed for all the things that he did. And we're not going to get into that right now because this video is going to be specifically about Mr. Beast. And so let's start with this clip. And I worked at Mr. Beast from February to May of this year, 2024. Chris is the, the tip of the iceberg. And when Jake the Viking says, Mr. Beast knew, yeah, Mr. Beast knew. Um, I heard many times that Ava, Chris Tyson, is a major liability, but they can't get rid of her because she's already threatened legal action and she knows too much. And when all this information comes out about everything that she knew, everything other people know, I promise you on everything Mr. Beast has done. Amazon, if you can get your money back, get your money back. And then so yeah, you might be able to like, what is this guy talking about? Does he have any proof? What does he mean? Or what does it mean Mr. Beast being done? That can't possibly be true. Mr. Beast is the biggest channel on YouTube. He's the saint who helps all these people and throws so much money at children and gives them cookies for subscribing and whatnot. But let me tell you something. This man wasn't lying when he said that it was just the tip of the iceberg, ladies and gentlemen. Because the story seems to be just going and going on. And as you can see here, this is a new video he uploaded on July 24th. And it already has 2 million views. This is the same guy Dawson, who we saw a clip about earlier, talking about the iceberg. And now he made a full documentary explaining everything about Mr. Beast and his business and how he has been... Let's let's just watch a little bit of it. I don't want to show the entire clip Any because of this documentary is actually great and I think you should watch it yourself after this but I've compiled a lot of videos here we can talk about them all together here and watch them let's watch some important bits of this video it's fake signatures body schemes are great up until they just go bust <laughs> Hi, I wanted to provide some context to this video. I'm a former Mr. Beast employee, and today I am alleging that the company uh, rigged videos and uh, did illegal lotteries and sold fake signatures. I, I would consider that fraud, okay? Thank you, enjoy the video. So this is part one into my investigation into Mr. Beast. Uh, I recorded this before the Chris stuff came out. I was also going to come out about the Chris stuff, probably in part two or three. Um, because I see a lot of people saying like, oh, if you knew, why didn't you come forward? Why didn't you go to the authorities? Well, I was going to come forward and also like, Going to the authorities isn't going to work because what are you going to say? Like, you heard rumors that this person was this way or that, you know, there's obviously evidence of like the shad based stuff. Like, that's been out for a while. People have internally known at the company that like Chris is kind of a, a potential minors attracted person and, and the company protects her and or they were protecting her and they protected her as long as they could. Jimmy knew, everyone knew. So, you know, which I think that's more of a red flag than anything I'm going to reveal in this video. But, um, you know, there's messages happening like, Mr. Beast discords and yeah, I don't know. It's a mess when like Mr. Beast contestants. If they subscribe, if they buy products or act in some way that benefits the brand, they will win big. The audio could easily be added in post. I literally think I'm gonna kill you. And Where, listen, you're getting to- Mansion comes with a movie theater. Is, why does it matter if the videos are fake? They're just meant to be entertainment. A large part of Mr. B's brand is the fact that he doesn't fake videos. I remember when I first started seeing your videos, I was like, this shit's gotta be fake. Oh yeah, like, it's a huge problem for us now. I actually have to dial back my content sometimes just so people think it's real. Also, if, if what we had to film was scripted, you know, cause what we do is not scripted. So you have to plan for a bunch of variables that you can't control, blah, blah. If what we did was scripted, holy shit, this stuff would be easy to pump out. Have you ever faked a video? No. But this train track is CGI, these bus wheels are CGI, this explosion is fake, this shredder is CGI, this car is digitally lifted, this pit is fake, this guy is fake, uh, this raccoon is a paid actor, sure, this island costs more than a dollar, this city is not abandoned, these buildings are CGI, it's not your only way out, you can literally get an Uber to the airport for $20. That's not a lurker, it's just the guy. This whole room is fake, this contestant is an actor and a secret employee at Mr. Beast, comes out through this fake door twice, this line is scripted, this action is scripted, in fact, pretty much all the videos with Mac are scripted. So first off, Mr. Beef goes and tells us that nothing in his videos is scripted or fake, and Dog Pack 404 something proves him wrong. 
what we did was scripted. Holy that's shit. Just, oh, that would be looking easy back. Out. Let's talk about Mac for a second. We will die. Do you understand that? I found public records showing that Mac moved from California to Greenville, North Carolina, where Jimmy is located, back in August 2023, two months before he appeared as a contestant. According to a former Mr. Beast employee, this is around the time when Mac started working full-time on the editing team at Mr. Beast. Also, he didn't just move into any old house, he moved into a million dollar mansion. Now, I'm not gonna dox him, only some asshole would do something like that. After doxing and bullying the pilot some more, like a f***ing douchebag, turns to Eric and says, how do I fly this thing? So yeah, this person, Mac, he's appeared in many Mr. Beast videos before and has went on to win the game or come out as the first loser and get a scar as a reward. So that's obviously scripted. This person is working for Mr. Beast now pretty openly in recent videos. So it's clear that Mr. Beast's videos are not as real as he wants us to believe. And... Dog Pack 404 goes into many more details in his video. There's so many proofs about illegal gambling operations, how he's tricking children into buying candy, you know, like lotteries, illegal lotteries. And how people are signing his shirts in the name of him, like selling the shirts. As in, it was signed by Mr. Beast, but in reality, it was signed by some dude and his crew. And goes on and on, guys. It's on and on. This is actually 53-minute videos, and it's really worth watching if you want to do your own research and see what's the truth and what's not. And you can decide for yourself. You can read the room. The room is red. Children with gam is the... It's honestly just. There's another part of this clip I really like. So I'm going to share it with you. Thank you. Could be. Look at it like this. There are two value propositions at play here. The perceived value of the prop. Like they actually sent a hundred dollar bill. Wait, what? Is what? Yeah. Stuff out there. Ooh, maybe you should have spent a little less time on this uh, beautiful logo and more time on making the food actually edible. Ooh. Wow, that's disgusting, guys. That's the Mr. Beast burger. I'm so okay. glad it's not available in Europe. That is disgusting. What's that, brother? Also, be for real, dude. Uh, Five Guys has a nice, clean, appealing aesthetic. You know, the name suggests humble beginnings. This is like a eight-year-old sloppy cotton candy piss burger. It literally looks like a piss burger. Oh, I don't know. I'm sit down. Be humble. I don't know. Sit down. Also, this digital wheel is not remotely representative of your actual odds. Mark Rober has talked about this common deceptive casino tactic before. You recall from the carnival scam video, the most lucrative games for the carnival owner are those where people over- Because if it sells more, I make more money. I'm gonna be honest, and I hope Jimmy is sitting next to me and not getting his feelings hurt. <laughs> Compare it to Hershey's, it's our crunch bar. Yeah. This is the one you believe in? Yes. Not crazy, Jamie. No? Uh -huh. You don't like crunch bars? I do like crunch bars, but... Again, it's too sweet. Let me try this. Maybe these are defective. Oh I my like god! It. This tastes good to me. Wait, we're supposed <gasps> to be ranking them. I rated the first one, so we're going completely off of... Oh, well, we're going completely off of... We're in too deep. I rate this a 10 out of 10. I give this an 11 out of 10. Keep in mind, only five ingredients. Infinitely healthier for you than the normal thing out there. Also my favorite, so far. Okay, here's the thing. I didn't realize you were a dark chocolate guy. I'm not a super dark chocolate guy. I do love dark chocolate. I get it so 7.8 out of 10. Okay, so I'm starting to understand this, man. Okay, okay. I'm starting to figure this man out. You're going to like this one, right? You like salt? You I mean, there's a sea salt guy. I just, I'm going to get rid of these. No, I want the chocolate holes. No, you just don't, you, trust me. You you like, you're a dark one? chocolate kind of guy. Yes, if, I, I can read the room. The room is red. Now in 2024, Mr. Beast changed the formula again to where it has mostly the same ingredients as Hershey's and even more sugar and more calories per bar. And this initial ad for Feastables where he calls it healthy is still getting millions of views a month. Also, I don't think you should ever advertise it as over a million dollars in prizes when more than a third of those prizes are just coupons for more Mr. Beast products, forcing you to spend more money if you actually want to redeem them. Ooh, a $5 coupon for Beast Burger. Now a single combo only costs $20. Bob oh. Burger's Palace or it's five Silver Palace. Guys. If this shit can be successful, five fucking guys. five guys. It's so good. Who cares? It's called Five Guys. What kind of fucking name is that?
It doesn't matter. Uh, the no, burgers are good. Branding matter. Ooh, maybe you should have spent a little less time on this uh, beautiful logo and more time on making the food actually edible. Ooh. Brother, ooh. What's that? Because if you're at it, if you want to maybe move some Hershey's bars and make sure that Feast of Walmart for a chance to win 5000 for profit. He's some of them. And again, there are very few videos that happen to be in your face much worse but oh, first i still have a prize for you you need to be in a video again most of these tickets in random orders or that we throw items in random orders yeah somebody screamed in chat i want to switch hey buy a shirt in 30 minutes we are giving away my car to someone that buys merch which each giveaway is its own independent event you can't give one prize to someone who buys something and a different prize to someone in chat the prize where you have to buy something is still an illegal lottery 100 people that bought chocolate bars and pick 100 random ones. Got it. I think I can do that over here. I don't know. So mm -hmm. I don't want to say anything. And then someone be like, yeah, actually, that's illegal. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I could not find any way to enter the big Tesla giveaway without spending at least $42. And we're giving away a Tesla to someone random who bought stuff. They also gave away 24 tickets, which gave you the opportunity to be in a video. Again, most of these tickets, you had to make a purchase to win. One random person that buys in one time frame, 10 minutes. Someone's order that buys something. And we're going to have 24 yeah. people. We're going to put them in 24 different circles. Million dollars on the line. Have some fun. You know what I'm saying? Also, this video never happened. There is no Mr. Beast well, video of 24 people in circles competing for a million dollars. Unless it ended up being 100 people in a circle competing for $500,000. But that's a smaller prize and much worse odds. So, like, did they just pocket the money or what? Hey, it's the pilot guy. Let's get it! Wait, he's about to be the first one out? That's unlike him. Even though you got out first, I still have a prize for you. Just wait here. Oh, first person out gets a car. Oh, just dirty. My friend Mac. Another thing that just annoys me is Jimmy constantly says during these live streams that he's just doing this for fun because he loves giving things away. Oh, and I just like giving away stuff. It's kind of funny. Imagine you just lost a bunch of money at the casino and the owner comes out and he says, guys, the reason I do all this, I just love giving away money. Uh, also, you're seven years old in that example. It's insane that he can flip these massive, oh, no, profitable, guys. illegal lotteries targeted towards children as a, an act of generosity. So I'm gonna give you guys a few minutes to go place an order at shopmrbeast.com. Anyone watching any of the lives? And um, we're gonna throw iPhones in some of them. And again, there are very few videos of this live stream on the internet. I think Mr. Beast probably copyright strikes reuploads. But almost any clip you do find will that people who bought would receive one hundred dollars. I mean, this Beast definitely has this stream saved. He saves all his footage. Uh, so I'll ask you, Jimmy. Will you publish this to prove your innocence? Also using archive.org, we can see what the website looked like on the day of the stream. And while there's no mention of any sweepstakes whatsoever, it does say this limited T signed by Mr. Beast and crew, uh, but the description says it's signed by a member of the Mr. Beast crew. And it doesn't say anywhere that other members will sign MB, deceiving people into believing it was signed by Mr. Beast. So here's a clip of Tyler forging, or not, maybe not forging, using Mr. Beast's signature. So Tyler signs MB, which is Mr. Beast's signature. Then he covers it, signs his own initials, TC, smirks, looks around, and then quickly slides the shirt away. Could you make it any more obvious? You know, you don't accidentally have someone else's signature as muscle memory. And again, I'm not a lawyer. No. I think this is fraud. Maybe they could say it's the brand's signature, even though it's clearly implied that this is Jimmy's signature, which was established during the last live stream. Oh. Hey! MB, Mr. Beast. So this is Mr. Beast's signature. No way, this one was signed by Mr. Beast. It's just got the MB. But it, that means it's signed by Mr. Beast. So they're making people believe that Mr. Beast is actually the person signing these shirts and selling you this $2 shirt that they got from another company for $40, which is not even signed by Mr. Beast, but just a crew member who is using his signature and all these other claims and alleged scams and tricks and freaking trickery that Mr. Beast is using in his video to manipulate children 
and trick us all into believing he's such a saint. So is Mr. Beast actually the good guy we all thought he was? Is he? Or is he actually the Antichrist incarnation who is going to bring the end of the world, ladies and gentlemen? So let's continue to the next video. I definitely recommend watching this video by Dog Pack 404. His document documentary is amazing and goes into so many details. You, your mind will be blown after watching this. If you're a Mr. Beast fan, the truth will be unveiled. So make sure to give it a watch. So on the next stop, we have this video by Rosanna Pansin Pansino, who has this is not her first time covering Mr. Beast. She had already talked about Mr. Beast in the past, about how she had a bad experience with him, but for that she got absolutely destroyed by the community and by YouTube for it, and now she's back at it again, risking her channel with 14 million subscribers to share her truth. Let's watch this clip. They have received from contestants on the show are pretty much all telling a similar story, and I find them to be very disturbing. Some of the messages are from people who are, have competed and they've been eliminated. Some of the messages are from people who are still competing. And some of them are from people that I personally know who are involved on the show and still, still doing so. These people are genuinely upset about how things are going. They're scared for not only their own safety, but the safety of their friends who are still competing. Um, they aren't doing this out of spite. They're doing this because they are afraid for themselves and for their friends. As of right now, I have 10 stories from 10 different people and none of them have shared their stories with each other. And I will be talking more about them in the future. I have personally worked in entertainment and on sets for almost two decades and what is going on here is beyond disgusting and extremely dangerous. I wanted to read you one of the messages with the permission of one of the contestants to give you an idea of why I'm so upset and why I simply just can't let this go. It's absolutely not okay. So I'm going to read to you her message. I was a contestant until the end. I also didn't accept their hush money. It was really bad. People were having seizures because they were not getting medication, even though we were promised we would. And it was 100% rigged. They presented okay, it. Guys, so this is the video about uh, the text is about the people participating in the new Amazon Prime show by Mr. Beach, which was promised to be the biggest game show of all time. And it is advertised as being fair and on equal ground for everybody. But this is about a contestant who participating currently or was participating until she got eliminated. As though the game would be like Squid Games, basically a type of game show where all the games are an even playing field. That was not at all the case. All the games were about speed and strength. So only the young athletic male were at an advantage over the women and elderly people were also casted. To make things worse, men started realizing that they could take out the women without being eliminated. Guys started tackling and hitting women. Two girls were tackled and passed out on the field and were dragged off to continue filming. I saw people with broken bones, stitches, etc. And most were women. Oh we were given maybe 400 calories a meal and only fed every 12 hours. Food would run out and people would fight over, steal, and hoard food. Water was scarce and kept running out as well. I had to sit with a bloody pad for two days before I could get undergarments and my reusable pads because I'm allergic to regular pads. We were also sleep deprived, only allowed three to four hours. We all slept on the floor in the stadium in a $10 sleeping bag. I get that people saying it's a game show and it's not meant to be easy. I'm not saying it should. Oh my God. Okay. I'm sorry to stop this, but this is crazy. They got fed 12 hours in 12 hour delayed meal times they were sleeping on the floor on the hardwood floor in the stadium they couldn't freaking sleep more than four hours what is this is this the hunger games or is it like a game show made by the biggest most successful youtuber in the community and this guy can't afford to feed the people or provide them with basic human needs. How is this show being endorsed by Amazon? Like, for real. How is this not even cancelled? Doesn't Amazon freaking check its human rights? What is going on, guys? Like, this is unbelievable. Be easy, but it was presented like Squid Games, where competitions were not biased and didn't exclusively cater to young athletic men. People who went signed up for Squid Games, not for American Ninja, Warrior, and Survivor. Why else would they cast elderly people on the show? They offered anyone who lost $1,000 to sign away their rights to join any kind of class action lawsuit of any kind. I didn't sign, so I didn't get the money. After this article came out and things started blowing up, they called everyone back and decided to offer an additional $1,000 per person to make up for any of the inconveniences. They knew it was bad because they also offered to provide therapy through their insurance. And it wasn't Amazon Prime that called me, it was Mr. Beast's crew. We were set up to fail. 
And when the men started tackling people to get them out, nothing was done about it. They were not even eliminated. The game that had to do with the briefcase, it felt literally like Hunger Games. While Mr. Beast is standing on his podium, looking down, watching all of us peasants fight for a chance at five million. I know it's a game show, and I know it's not meant to be easy, but even with a waiver, it is a company's responsibility to have safety protocols in place to try to prevent injuries. That is not what was happening here. The fact that the nurses at the hospital in Las Vegas are also confirming all of the injuries that happened is proof. They did not have to sign an NDA. And five of us so far have tested positive for COVID. Also, someone was allowed to go in with pink eye, which of course is also contagious. Now this contestant has shared even more details with me and I'll keep you updated. I have even more statements to come. And just as someone who has worked in entertainment and on sets, professional, huge professional sets for years, um, I've seen people being treated different ways, but this is absolutely unacceptable. Okay, she couldn't have said it better, but this is crazy, guys. So even Mr. Beast crew, Mr. Beast himself knows that this is not right, that this is fucked up. Excuse my language. He knows that this is wrong. And still, for this reason alone, he's making people sign an NDA, non-agreement disclosure, paying them $1,000 ahead just to stay silent. So yeah, let's just discuss that for a second. Mr. Beast himself knows that this is messed up, guys. And that is the reason he's making these people sign NDAs. He's making silencing these people the same way he tried to silence Nate. And the same way they probably silenced Lava, you know. But this is not a joke, guys. This is not a joke. Experience being eliminated from the new Mr. Beast game challenge. So this is the next video. Eliminated 400 people the first day. Okay, guys, so this is the next video about another contestant in the new Beast game or whatever the frick is called on Amazon Prime. And she's going to discuss with us or tell us about her story and her experience in the games and how it was absolutely inhumane, how she was treated and how she felt afterwards. So let's go and watch this video. Okay. Those 400 people, the majority of them were forced by the other team members to be on the specific team they were. Some were just about like, physically like assaulted to be put onto one team, which ended up making it like the weakest team. Since it was a lot of like elderly people, petite women, and people that just, I mean, they weren't willing to take on six guys that were surrounding them trying to take their vests so that they can actually be on that. Of the 400 people that left, the majority of them, I'd say at least half, are all extremely depressed. I don't know if I can say extremely, but I definitely know that they are depressed. Uh, as far as I've heard from so many people that I talked to personally, as well as people that I've spoken to that are employed by other other organizations that are around like the games right now um a lot of people have come up and expressed that they are really not doing okay it was so much work and exhausting to just get to that point to even be in the games and then to be kicked out and you kind of get ostracized uh the staff like they become really cold towards you once you're actually kicked out mr beast does not talk to everybody um all his all his fans or anything and uh, i mean like there's so many different things I, i'll keep giving updates on this but like mr beast is a monster and the games that he does are really cruel and sick they actually had called a uh, one one kind staff member of the three only three kind staff members that i came across that were like really concerned about the well-being of all the people that were so distraught had actually come to me and asked me if i was okay and i told them i wasn't i told them that i wanted to die and one of them had called a psychologist to come on set and talk to me and that psychologist had even informed me shows like mr beast and i'm assuming probably similar type game shows game shows they they kind of destroy the contestants it is extremely psychologically damaging and i really think that it should end yeah i mean there are a lot of updates that i'm gonna give i made a video last night when i was i was prepared and planning on killing myself last night because i have already lost like everything else in my life and being a part of mr beast games just for the experience of doing fun unique activities it it gave me something to look forward to it gave me something to be really happy and uh, so this is really crazy guys so it's pretty sad actually so she's sharing with us that after participating in the mr beast video or the game show she was absolutely terrified terrorized and traumatized to the point where she was actually thinking about ending everything you know actually very dark excited about and then when it's quite sad to be honest and she says that Mr. Beast is an actual monster. Can you believe it? Like, your hero, your hero, Mr. Beast, is a monster, according to this person. And after watching that documentary about Dog 404, I wouldn't disagree much. In fact, I will go as far as saying that Mr. Beast is freaking antichrist incarnation. I'm not religious by any kind of means, but... 
the amount of popularity this person has, if he's actually as bad as everyone is saying, and the platform he has, the inst you know, the power he is holding right now is too much to be in the hands of someone so evil, portraying themselves as a saint. Wouldn't that be something an evil person would do? Portraying themselves as the best person, as a saint? Yes, absolutely. They ripped away. Um, my first thought was to try and figure out some way that maybe I can I can salvage it somehow. Do you get money from the show? <laughs> yes and no. Um, you get fake money while you're on the show. Complete fake money. And then they take it from you right after they get their little shots done. And then they have you sign some paperwork where they tell you that they're going to send you the money at a later point in time. For me, it was supposed to be $1,000. Uh, that's like nothing. <laughs> A thousand dollars for everything that we've gone through. Um, and it takes four months. It was, it was going to take four months to get to me as Mr. Beast and his staff knew that I was homeless and had nothing when I went on the show. And I had to buy stuff for wardrobe to be on the show. Like I did everything that I could to try and be able to stay on the show as long as I could. And then the people on the show, like had such a hard time getting their medication. Many people, and these are prescription medications. Many people, sometimes they, they hadn't gotten their medication for like two days. Some of it was like epileptic medication, like really vital, necessary medication. I know for me, every time I went to go and try and get my medication, I would have trouble as well. Sometimes just the lady distributing the medication, she would just give me a lot of attitude because I take my medication more than once in a day. And so when I come back, uh, you know, a second time or a third time, she would get irritated with me because already bought my medication. So it is Mr. Beast, like he, he genuinely just wants to psychologically like disturb people. And that's exactly what his show is. And I, I heard this from a lot of reputable sources now. That show really is destroying lives. And I, I sadly, I'm, I'm not going to be surprised if many people from the show that he's doing currently right now end up killing themselves. Yeah, okay, guys, this is crazy. You watch your video and we've seen everything everyone is talking about and there's no denying it. There's no denying it. Hey guys, so it is time for a video because I have received Okay guys, there's no denying it, Mr. Beast is not the person we've all believed, we've all come to believe with the image he's built us, that he's the saint, this man who's going to save us all, if you subscribe to him and he sees you on the road, he's going to give you one million dollars or freaking iPhone 16 S plus Ultra, whatever, it's not the truth, that's not the person we were freaking guided to believe. According to all these people, all these sources, all these freaking proofs that are coming out, Mr. Beast is not the person you want to look up to, okay? And he's surely, his career is about to end. Amazon is probably going to have to cancel it because otherwise, I don't know what else to say. Just, it's a true eye opener and it's truly sad. I used to think Mr. Beast was this great person, and after seeing all these truths about him lying about his shows, the winners are all his friends, and all these freaking evidence and allegations, I'm not sure anymore, and yeah, thank you for watching, please make sure to watch the videos covered here on their channel as well, and like and subscribe, peace out.